successful separation. Just waiting for that second engine to start up. As you can hear from the uh, crowd cheering downstairs, it sounds like we've had a successful separation and a successful ignition of that upper stage engine. Now on your screen right now, you can see uh, that second stage on the right-hand side as it accelerates towards the International Space Station. However, on the left-hand side, you're looking at a view from the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket. Uh, that first stage just completed its boost back burn, which thrusts it back towards Cape Canaveral and gets it ready for a landing. We can follow along with its process back towards LZ-1 on the left-hand side and follow along with Dragon and the second stage progress on the right-hand side. Just had confirmation that the Dragon's nose cone deploy, that is the uh, shield on top of the Dragon that protects the hatch and the forward bulkhead from any uh, aer aerodynamic pressures. Uh, now that we're out of the atmosphere, we don't need it anymore, so we just pop it off. Getting confirmation from our GNC department that trajectory of the second stage is nominal. On your left hand side, you can see those grid fins deploying on the first stage. Those grid fins uh, are used to control the first stage as it descends down through the atmosphere. Just had confirmation of a successful boost back burn shutdown as well. Periodically on the left hand side, you'll see uh, jets of gas. These are cold gas thrusters. Uh, in addition to those grid fins, those cold gas thrusters allow that first stage to control its descent so that it can pinpoint land in the center of LZ 1. And on the right hand side of your screen, you can see that second stage nozzle glowing hot with those exhaust gases. That second stage is currently accelerating nominally towards the ISS. We've just acquired signal as well from our Bermuda tracking station. SpaceX has tracking stations situated all over the world so we can maintain constant contact with the second stage engine as it orbits the Earth. That first stage uh, is about one minute away from the entry burn. Uh, you can see the coast of Florida in the left-hand side of your screen as the stage comes back down towards land. Um, it's still in the very upper regions of the atmosphere where air is very thin, um, but before it hits the thicker atmosphere portions, uh, we do, are going to light those engines once again to slow it down just a little bit so it doesn't burn up on its way down towards Cape Canaveral. This is a beautiful shot uh, from space of Cape Canaveral. Uh, you can see the white dots of clouds uh, that we just launched through. We should be able to get clear video all the way back down towards landing zone one. On the right hand screen, uh, you're seeing a camera shot from our pad at LZ-1. And the entry burn has just started. So that Falcon 9 is currently thrusting its way uh, just to slow itself down. Entry burn lasts about a minute. Excuse me, about 10 seconds. <laughs> and entry burn has just completed. That was successful. For those of us just joining, on the left-hand side, we have a camera on the first stage as it descends. And on the right-hand side, we have a camera on the ground tracking that first stage as it makes its way back. You can see the rocket start to vibrate around as it hits the thicker parts of the atmosphere. In about 10 seconds, that center Merlin engine is going to ignite once more and set the rocket down as gently as possible at the pad at LZ-1. Landing burn has begun. On the left hand side, you can see the uh, first stage approaching the pad. And on the right hand side, you see the pad shot. Let's watch it land. <laughs> 